Hey guys, my name is Frankie. I'm a professional makeup artist and bridal makeup artist in the East Coast of Canada. And today I'm gonna to go over some of my favorite products that I've been using this summer for brides and bridesmaids. So some of these are from Sephora and some of them are drugstore. Um, some are more affordable than others. So if you're interested, keep watching. So the Revlon Prime Plus I've been using for a little while now. There's two different kinds that I've tried and this one's really thick, but it's really nice if someone needs that extra moisturizing boost. So you just don't need a lot. Um, you definitely can saturate them if they need it. It just comes out like a nice moisturizer and just works against taking away that dry flakiness from the skin. As always, I have tried so many different types of kind of glowy um, face moisturizers and types of products like Glotion. And this summer I have not found one that has been comparable to. The e.l.f. one is okay. I mix that in a lot with foundation, especially for more mature skin or someone that wants a super glowy look. Um, but the Glotion, you just can't beat it. There's something about it that's just very unique. So I'm just gonna show you how it goes on. It's just super healthy, glowy, and you could wear this alone or you could wear it with foundation or under foundation, um, but it's definitely my ultimate product and probably the only product I could never live with. So two years ago, I sold my spa in Alberta and moved back to Nova Scotia. And when I sold my spa, I sold all my makeup with it. So I was recreating and building my kit again and becoming a freelancing makeup artist in Nova Scotia. And so far it's been great. I've had 23 weddings this summer. I have six left to do. So I started out with a cheaper version of my kit because of course you don't have thousands of dollars to start out. Um, so I was using Maybelline Fit Me, the Maybelline Superstay, the e.l.f. and just minis of Tarte Shape Tape. And I have to say, I have now found the one concealer that I can't live without. I still love the Maybelline Fit Me for like an everyday look or super natural look, but nothing beats the Too Faced concealer. This concealer goes on like butter. It blends in, it just goes in so seamlessly and it has the ultimate coverage. Now that being said, this is around $50, 45 to $50. So it is a very luxury product, um, especially if you need to fill your kit with a bunch of different shades. Um, whereas the Fit Me is around like 10 to $13. So um, if you are starting out as a professional makeup artist, I highly recommend going the affordable way until you can afford more of the luxury products. Don't just break your bank trying to get there, get there slowly and you will. And definitely try the Too Faced Concealer. It is absolutely amazing. So that's just a little bit and just the amount of coverage. This is the Swan shade and the amount of coverage is just incredible. So I'm a beauty sponge girl. This one is a Morphe one and it is super soft and spongy. Definitely one of my top beauty sponges. Another one that I like is actually the Wet n Wild. It comes in a pack of two and it has like a slanted side on it. And for my clients, um, some of my brides, I use them on them and I cut them in half because I throw them out after, but they're also very nice sponges. It's like a filter. This is just incredible. Now, Fabeline, Fabeline, <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so Maybelline Fit Me has always been my favorite go-to foundation for years. Um, it's affordable. I think it was like $13.99 the other day when I saw it. And I just love it. It goes on really nice and medium coverage to light coverage. You can build it, but um, it's more of like an everyday wear. So my next pick is going to be the L'Oreal True Match. I only have two shades because I was just kind of like trying it out, but I'm gonna go ahead and mix them and try to find the perfect shade for me and show you how sheer and pretty it goes on. Not bad, actually, for my first try, <laughs> not bad. So this is also affordable. This one was $15.99 on sale the other day at Shoppers. And it just blends on so seamlessly. And it's really pretty, especially for a drugstore product. So some of them, you can look into it. You can't really see it on camera. Some of them have like the sheen to it. It's kind of like a shimmer, but don't be scared of that because it doesn't actually have like a shine when you get it on. It's not like little glitter specks, but it is really pretty when you get it on. So I'm gonna finish blending this out and move on to the next product. So my next products that I'm picking are the e.l.f. Halo Glow Wands. These are really pretty. Um, it takes a little bit of blending, but it's not bad.
super easy to use. I will recommend not touching this onto a client's face. If you're using it on clients, always put it on like a little palette. Use a brush or a blender. These types of products that come with kind of the little sponge on the tip. Actually, a lot of products have that nowadays. Um, they are super unhygienic. You can't really clean that sponge. So if you are going over acne that can spread or anything like that, you're just getting bacteria in it. So it's not like the most ideal applicator, but this product is super pretty and I will continue to use it. <laughs> and for the blush, I chose the Rose You Slay and this is super pretty, but I will say it takes a little bit of blending. The only reason I say it takes some blending is because the first time I used it, um, it kind of dried in place because I was kind of the person that did all the little dots everywhere. And then I was blending the dots out and you could actually see like where I stopped. So it does take a little blending. I think people say this one is kind of close to the color of um, the Charlotte Tilbury ones, which are a bit more high end pricing. So definitely if you cannot afford that, this is a great dupe for it. And I definitely recommend trying them out. Now the Rare Beauty liquid blushes. I am so happy to start having a better collection of them because they are one of the best blush products that I've ever used, especially on people. They blend out seamlessly and just like melt into the skin. Um, I've never had an issue with any of them and I would 10 out of 10 recommend any of these colors. Now the top one that I have been using on probably 90% of my brides this summer um, because it looks different on everyone, but yet still has that like beautiful pink hue to it is happy. Now, when I first had happy, I was like, why would anyone want that super bright pink? No, once you get it on there, it is such a pastel-y pop of pink and it is super, super pretty. Now, another one that I really like, and it's a little bit more of like a terracotta um, hue to it. And I don't have it in my hands. So let me find Okay. It. So the one that I really love, that's like a terracotta brown is Virtue. Now Virtue, I just got this summer and I've been trying it out and it is just stunning. Um, basically anyone can wear any of these colors. This one, if you want more of like that sun-kissed vibe, this is perfect for you. So um, 10 out of 10. And again, if you're starting out as a makeup artist and you wanna start using high-end products, I always recommend to look for their little kits. Rare Beauty just launched some on um, Sephora and they're always like their little Christmas kits and stuff. And that's how I started. So you get the minis and then eventually you get one by one by one because they're about 35 to $40 a piece too. Um, so it takes time to build your kit up, but if you're getting liquid blushes, these are top products. Now I totally forgot to start with skincare because I already did it beforehand. Um, these I've been using on my brides and makeups in general. I've been taking skincare with my uh, makeup, makeup applications so much more serious and the change that I've had this summer in my makeup applications is outstanding for me to personally look at where I started to where I am now. And so I love these two. I mix them and just give them a really healthy amount on their skin to get their skin really um, moisturized and glowy and a little bit tacky to get that makeup to stay on there because I don't always use primers for everyone. The Milani Cheek Kisses are super pretty. These are also liquid blushes. They go on very sheer, so you might need to build it up a little bit, but if you're looking for that makeup, um, that's like a no makeup makeup look or me but better, um, these are also a 10 out of 10 for that look, especially um, Rose Romance. And I had another one that was like a nude color, um, but it opened up in my kit and poured everywhere. <laughs> so um, I don't have it with me right now, but these are great starter liquid blushes, but also just great to have in your kit as well. Now, I used to be all about Laura Mercier setting powder and I still love it. I still keep it in my kit. Um, it is beautiful. But my two favorites right now are the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush and the Huda Beauty Powder. These are both such nice powders, especially for full glam. Um, so I'm just gonna show you what the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush can do. It literally makes people look like they have a filter on. It kind of tucks away the pores and it just really is a great product. So on the other side, I'll use the Huda Beauty. So normally what I do um, for my makeups is I do the Charlotte Tilbury where I want the pores to disappear. And then on the rest of my face, I use the Huda Beauty. So a couple years ago, Milani Dolce Pink was like the top blush and that's fine. I still absolutely love it. 
and my brides love it. Um, another one that I actually really like is Warm Soul from MAC. I'm trying to get it open here. It's got a bit of a sheen to it, but not as like highlighting as the Dolce Pink. But they are both so pretty, both very different, but both so pretty. I'd say you can just see the difference in the kind of colors. So this one is just definitely if you want like that pop of pink. Um, it's also really, really my favorite on top of Happy from Rare Beauty mixed in with a little bit of sugar cookie highlighter. It is just like, boom, when you get it on their face. So on this side, I'm going to show you what the warm sole looks like from MAC. Just very light, very pretty, a little bit of a sheen to it. And then on the other side, I'm gonna use um, Dolce Pink. You can instantly see that pop of pink. You do not need a lot. And you can blend it in if you found you put too much on, just go ahead and put a little bit of your setting powder on top to kind of dull it a little bit. So you can kind of see the differences. My brides have been absolutely loving just a touch of the Dolce Pink on their cheeks. Um, I put a lot on me just to show you kind of what it looked like, but I don't go that extreme on people. This Rio Sunset from Sol de Janeiro has become a staple in my kit. Um, I don't know what I was using and doing before this came into my life. The smell is absolutely amazing. The sheen is unlike any others. You could probably use the glow sheen here, but I have it here and it's just such a healthy, um, natural kind of glow and when you put this on a bride it completes the entire look and she just looks so pulled together and beautiful so i normally would put it on with a brush and put it on all over their um decollete or wherever they're requesting it smells amazing so just a nice little sheen but there's no like glitter specs or anything so if you're not like a glitter fanatic or anything this is also still for you i think this one is a bit more luxury pricing but it was definitely worth it in my case being a makeup artist. So for bronzers, I always like to put a powder on top of um, my liquid and everything once it's all set. So these three have been kind of a staple in my kit this summer as well. Um, Milani, super nice. It's a bit more ashy formula, definitely more on the warm side and also has some bit of like a a fleck to it it's not it's not crazy like you're not going to get super shiny from it but it does have a tiny bit of like a shimmery sheen i really like that one and it smells really good as well so this one is also warm this is sunshine from rimmel and very affordable and just a really nice warm hue as well to give like that sun kiss vibe i am still on the hunt for a drugstore highlighter that i actually love um i've tried a few and they're just a bit too sparkly or um streaky for me this one is definitely a big pop so i'll try it on my nose just so you can see it if you haven't used it before so it's quite a bit more you know if you're really loving a highlighter that's for you very soft soft glow super pretty you could use this one if you were doing more of like a natural look now the bougie one i bought this summer is the dior palette do a mixture of all four And you can see how much that one is just so much more vivid than the double gleam. Now, not everyone likes that, so we don't do that for everyone. So those are definitely my top three right now for my highlighters. I use Sugar Cookie on most of my clients right now, um, unless they're wanting a super soft one or if they're more mature and they still want a highlighter um, and you don't want to pick up on every single crease. Um, the double gleam is amazing. When it comes to lashes for clients or for yourself, my ultimate favorite is the Naked Lash 421. It's hard to kind of get it on there because of the glare, but they are natural and fluffy, but they show up amazing. And especially for brides, that's my top pick right now. So other ones that I like to use are Demi Wispies. And another one, if you like extremely, extremely natural, then we're going with our Dell 110. Now, last but not least, lips. Um, a few new products that I picked up along the way this summer are the Maybelline Lifter Glosses and the Vinyl Inks. These are absolutely amazing. The Lifter Glosses are one of my favorite glosses now. They have a lot of pigment in them, but they also last like quite a bit in the day. So I have a few shades on hand here. I have Brass, Stone, Ruby, and Petal. I have a couple more somewhere, um, but 
lately these have been top picks for brides a lot of people still like that really glossy look so i definitely recommend these for personal or professional and you can mix the colors lately i've been doing stone and petal these two together and it's created such a dusty rose kind of lip it is stunning and all inks they're not matte but they're not super shiny i don't know how to explain that but when you get them on there they last quite a bit um so i have a few shades these are my favorite i have cheeky koi peachy and captivated and nine times out of ten i am mixing these colors to create the color that i want and one of my favorites is cheeky and peachy together or cheeky and captivated so definitely check these out if you haven't already so i thought this was funny so i'm going to share it um, I went to buy beauty sponges and I like to buy them in bulk because I usually do cut them and have to use them on clients and I like the big ones because you can do basically everything on their face with that one sponge. Um, so anyway, someone recommended that I go on Sheen. So I was a little bit skeptical because I really haven't ordered much from Sheen before. So I was like, ah, oh, okay, they have to be like decent quality. I have to be able to like get the makeup on there without it like being weird, like some beauty blenders and beauty sponges sorry, not beauty blenders, but some beauty sponges are just not good. Um, so anyway, I ordered a pack of 20 for $3 and I was like, wow, like I hope this works out because this is a really great deal. Not anywhere did it say there were minis. So to my surprise, I have 20 minis. Now, are these good for like under eyes and stuff? Sure. But like, to me, it's just, I don't really use them but I thought it was hilarious because I was like, well, okay. But my friend did order some after me and she did get full size, I believe. So I might try it again. Okay, that's it for today. My daughters both started daycare. Um, one is in it two days a week. So now I have a little bit more time when I'm not at work um, to come onto YouTube and try and get this going a little bit. Um, I think it's super fun and it is just for fun and it keeps me going with makeup and finding new products and stuff so um i hope any of this information was useful especially for people that are starting out to be makeup artists and aren't quite where they want to be yet or can't quite afford the products that they want yet so um yeah follow me for more bridal tips and makeup tips and everything like that so hopefully i'll be on soon again and yeah take care